On this beautiful day, you find me on New Moss Woods, and I'm here today with a monthly detailed look at the property market for areas of Earlham, Caddyshead and Rexton for the month of April. Are you interested in what the market's doing? Then please watch on. This month I have split the areas up so you can see individual stats for Earlham, Caddyshead and Rixton rather than combining Earlham and Caddyshead together. Let's start with Caddyshead. There are currently 70 houses for sale in this area with 19 new listings brought onto the market in April. Average asking price for houses that are currently for sale is 259,473 which works out to 238 per square foot. Moving forward with sales agreed. There were 12 sales agreed with an average asking price of £202,499. That works out at £205 per square foot. It's interesting to see the difference in asking prices to those stats of the ones sold. For me, the most interesting stat is the asking prices compared to achieved sales with a 24% drop in these two figures. The average square foot is not as severe with 14% drop for sales agreed. This shows this that the current market conditions in Caddyshead has houses sellers struggling to achieve a top value. If we go back a month and revisit March, it shows a much stronger scene with an average of £270 per square foot for asking prices and £233 per square foot for sales agreed. Both figures are much higher than April, so we've seen a shift downwards compared to the month before. Let's move on to Earlham. Using the same process, there are currently 88 houses for sale in Earlham, with 21 new listings being brought onto the market in April. Average asking prices for the area for houses for sale is £245,713, which calculates to £297 per square foot. Surprisingly, a lower figure than its neighbouring Caddyshead. Perhaps houses on the Moss, Caddyshead Moss, are bringing the prices up. There were 16 sales agreed in Earlham this April with an average asking price of £232, £187, calculated to £293 per square foot. Unlike its neighbour Caddyshead, Earlham's average prices only went down 6% if we compare the average to those houses that sold. Looking at the square footage, this only went down 1.3%, which is barely anything, again if you compare to Caddyshead which saw a 14% drop. This also shows the growth in the market since COVID and also shows that Earlham as a whole hasn't changed much in the last year. So what does this mean? Well, it shows that Earlham is achieving the prices, whereas Caddyshead might have an element of some houses being priced too high and simply not achieving the figures. Alternatively, the cheaper houses in the area are selling, whereas the higher prices our higher price ones are simply not selling. If we swing across the border and look at the areas of Rixton and part of Birchwood, we see the following figures. There are currently 59 houses for sale with 11 new listings, an average asking price of £234.273. That calculates to £293 per square foot. There were 17 sales agreed in April with an average asking price of £194,353. That calculates to £235 per square foot. That equates to a 21% drop in the price per square foot. There were also 13 price changes in the area. Three homes withdrawn and three home sellers saw three sales fall through. I would appreciate any feedback on this report. I have done a deeper dive this month and it would be helpful to know if you would like me to provide even more info or not so much. There's been plenty of figures. Often these types of reports are liked by more analytical brain people, but happy to adjust where needed. I have just written our first ever Q1 market report for the whole area, and these will be posted out shortly to selected homes. If you want to make sure you receive one, then please message me your address and I'll be sure to get this posted out straight away. Have a great May, everyone and I'll see you again next month.